Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're looking at something big. You can probably tell uh, who makes it. If you look behind me there, you see that uh, that leg has the word Aegis upon it. Yeah, we're doing a half-ass review on the Aegis Reclaimer. Mmm, nice and big. No, I'm not talking about her booty. All right, now after some time of searching for a while, it took me a minute, but I did find one way into this ship. Uh, right now, I do believe this is the only way in, is using this elevator on the, I'm gonna say the passenger side of the ship. I can't quite remember exactly which side it was, but it was, it was definitely on the side. You just have to look way up to be able to find it. You'll see like a really small little button. But it there that you should be able to find it. Um anyhow. We go ahead and take a look around this place. Uh it looks quite the horror show. They got some uh stuff help the helping you out around here. Yeah, you hit that button for the elevator and as it comes down you start getting dripped on. <laughs> and then then you gotta try to put the elevator back up. Yeah, it doesn't quite work that way. So they're still working on the ship. They got certain things to do, obviously. I mean, salvage isn't even in the game yet, but once it is, this is gonna probably be the main end goal for everyone salvaging is to use these. If you look in the window over to the right, you can kind of see where the uh, the scrapper is for when you just put a whole ship in there and just eat the whole thing. I did spend a lot of time trying to go up that elevator. Alright, moving on. Up here we've got the pilot and the co-pilot seat. Nice, nice easy way of finding it too. They don't make it very hard. We're gonna go ahead and take off and get off of the pad so that we can get, you know, to a nice location. Yes, it is slow. Okay, while we relocate the ship, let's go ahead and take a look at the Urkel. And here it is. You have no guns as a pilot, but everybody else gets guns. You got a man turret on top with a couple of Galdarines. I think that's on top. I can't remember where it is. You got a couple of Galdarines on it that are manned. A couple of remote tractor beams that don't work yet. Uh, there's the remote top, the Panther. The remote bottom is also Panthers. And you got remote front left and right, all also Panthers. <laughs> Pretty much everything else is all Panthers. You got lots of turrets. Uh, it comes with a com uh, comma quantum drive, size 3, so it, it drinks fuel. Uh, three shields, size 3. So we got 300,000 hit points of uh, shield damage that, you, that people gotta eat through, which is nice. Nice big size 4 main power plant, doesn't even have a name yet. And three size 3 coolers. All Mercury's. If we take a look here, and he scrolls down. Scroll down, please. Thank you for finally scrolling down. It costs uh, 15 million 126 400 UEC, or AUEC for now, and it can be bought at Lorville at New Deal. And there we have the Oracle. Kind of surprised it went as quickly as it did for being such a big ship. <laughs> well, it would appear that we are still waiting on those doors to open. Good God, they take forever. And this thing's gonna take a while to take off anyway, so let's go ahead and just watch it take off, because it's so glorious. That big old section on the back, that's where you're gonna have the ships that you uh, salvage go into once you've gotten them 
cut down the size enough to be able to like throw the big chunks in there. Is what it looks like anyway. Oh yeah. Definitely gotta keep that VTOL going. Until you're good and high. <laughs> Uh, it's one of the ships that's actually a little bit tricky to fly with uh, using the VTOL. As I learned. Once you get high enough in the air, you start moving forward and then you hit your VTOL and then you kind of want to boost up. You'll see here shortly. I do apologize about the sound. Uh, I recorded this at a point in time when there was a bunch of stuff going on with my sound and I didn't realize it and I had done a whole bunch of recordings and I'm too lazy to go back and re-record. So enjoy the music. <laughs> Alright, well, while we get this thing up in the space, let's just cut ahead. See you there. Alright, that should be far enough. Let's go ahead and get out of the seat and start heading on over and start looking at the ship. Yep, that's the co-pilot seat. Uh, I, as I meant to say, the claw operator seat. Uh, I don't know why I got in it thinking that maybe there would be any functionality to this. It is not working yet. Let's just leave it at that. Alright, getting out of that seat and heading back, we're going to go ahead and start looking around. we got a couple of remote turret seats here, or tractor beam turrets. Yeah, that's both the tractor beams. So we got a claw, two tractor beams, a bunch of guns, all turreted. Uh, I think these are the skate pods, maybe? I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure. These screens here are going to be your scanning stations as well as your remote turrets. Let me go ahead and hop in one of the remote turrets here and get powered on. Boopy doop. There we go. And you can see that we have access to two of them, uh, the top two right here. Uh, you actually have access to three different turrets per screen. So two people control uh, two turrets at a time, basically. Or well, you get each person controls one turret at a time, but you only get to choose between the three. So you don't have access to shooting all six at once. But you can kind of quickly switch between turrets, if you get good at it. And, you know, remember to rely on your teammates. I think this might actually be one of the same- no, it's another side. <laughs> it can be a little hard to tell which side of the ship you're looking at. They haven't really labeled them very well. And we all know scanning stations don't do sh jack right now, so. Take a look at this window finally, and see all the grinders that are spewing oil all over the place. The engineering station there that is currently in place uh, for, I don't know, like a, a placeholder for what it will eventually be. Or maybe it's actually going to be the engineering station. Let's get this door open. There we go. And we realize that's not where we want to go. That's the elevator to outside the ship. We don't want to space ourselves. Climb the longest ladder in the history of mankind because the elevator doesn't work. Look at a terrifying uh, spinning ball. I'm assuming that's what the power reactor. <laughs> Oh look, another ladder uh, for the turret. Now here's the elevator, the top of the elevator, which isn't working from here. 
Yeah. Middle door here leads to what looks to be... Yeah, I'm not really sure what I'm looking at here. It's a very interesting room. I don't know how to get into it. Oh, drone. Drone power. Or that. Drone whatever. I, I don't know what the drone would be used for. Drone operation. operation. You know, inside. Because it kind of looks like a person would stand there. What does the drone do? Is this like a torture room? <laughs> I think it is. I think that's what it is. This is secretly a torture chamber. Alright, moving past the torture chamber. Let's head down this hallway. And take a look around. And, of course, for your viewing pleasure as they get tortured. Small little, uh, maintenance closet, maybe? <laughs> Engineering closet? Equally as small? Well, actually slightly bigger closet with escape pods. Alright. I think. <laughs> kind of half a guessing game here on this. This ship's, uh, ship's still not done. You know, they built big old fat boy. Oh, of course. Big old fans of making everything look like we're in the, the universe of aliens. Of the xenomorphs. Why does every mess hall have to look like... I'm gonna die and have some chest burster come out of my chest. The docking collar. Is it? Is this the docking? Oh yeah, I guess it is docking collar. What a weird place to put that. <laughs> well, you go through the mess hall and you get to the docking collar. What? Why? Well, we figured you'd be hungry as soon as you got on board. Here we have the sleeping quarters. A couple beds. This actually looks nicer than the, the caterpillar sleeping quarters. Until you get into the bathroom that looks like it needs to be cleaned. Oh. Not a toilet. <laughs> oh, there's the toilets. One open, one closed. Couple showers, couple toilets. Too bad the flush doesn't work. Had to try them both. And the mirrors... I know those mirrors don't work. Mirrors should work, damn it. I guess that's later down the road. I think I saw blood on the wall there. This place is creepy. It's like a horror movie here. Got the empty lockers. And we have the... I want to say the captain's quarters, but it's more like the captain's office. And then the captain has the tiniest little bedroom. With his own personal bathroom. Or her. Uh, okay, the mirror is really creeping me out in this one. <laughs> That's just not right. Found yet another toilet. Head down the hallway here, this direction. Yeah, airlock to the each side of us. A couple ladders leading down. And another elevator. Which I don't know if this elevator is actually coming or not. So let's just go ahead and climb down using the ladder. Now this looks like there should be a a thing in the middle there with Han Solo frozen in. <laughs> I forget what that shit's called. That's funny. Yeah, that, that kind of looks like the, the Han Solo prison. Just not big enough. After having come back up the ladder here. Look around. Let's go ahead and check one of these airlocks out. Kind of just curious. I think I'm wearing a suit. Yeah, I'm wearing a suit.
Ah, oh, come on, be brave. Guess we're not gonna be brave. Yeah, it looks the same on the other side. <laughs> Alright, let's head back down here. It's all those. It's all here. There's not really much left to look at, and I think that's pretty much all of what the interior has to give us. Oh yeah, that's right, now I remember. I actually ended up getting trapped on this side of the ship. Because, if I'm not mistaken, we earned ourselves a 30k. There it is. That 30k life. Alright, well, let's get right back to it. <laughs> Okay, well, I think that's going to about do it today. Uh, that was the Reclaimer. There wasn't really much else to look at besides what we did, so... Uh, there you have it. A pretty big ship. Not really a whole lot of explorable space inside. A lot of it's really kind of the grinder in the back. But, uh, it's pretty awesome. Really slow, I mean, as you expect with a big ship, but... Really slow. Anyhow, if you guys enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe and come back for more. Bye.